What's the intention to treat principle and why is it so important? A big problem in clinical trials is that participants don't always receive the treatment to which they're randomized. They might not tolerate the treatment very well and drop out, or they might receive another treatment off-label. When using the intention to treat principle, we keep patients in the groups to which they're originally assigned, regardless of dropout or crossover. Why is this a good idea? Well, participants who drop out of studies are not random. They tend to be less healthy and thus less likely to tolerate the assigned treatment. This will end up affecting the results of the trial. Unhealthy patients in the intervention group might be more likely to drop out because of treatment intolerance or side effects than patients in the placebo group. Then the remaining patients in the intervention group are going to be more healthy overall. This could end up biasing your results in a big way. The intervention group would seem like it has a treatment effect, but in reality, it just has healthier patients than the control group. This is why it's so important to analyze the data based on the group that the participant was supposed to be a part of, based on the intention to treat principle, than what they actually got. Let's review. Intention to treat means analyzing patients in the groups they were assigned, regardless of whether they actually followed the protocol. This preserves the balance between intervention and control groups created by randomization and prevents us from thinking that a treatment is more effective than it actually is.